Hi, this is Charity and welcome back to the Super Sim Challenge. A challenge in The Sims 4 where we try to reach top level of every career, earn every degree, max every skill, complete all of the aspirations and collections, and do everything you can do with a single sim. Carla is just working on her work assignment right now since we have to go to work today. And we will be doing that because we have no more vacation days. We have completed everything that we need to do for school. So I think once we're done with our work assignment daily task, that we'll work on some knitting. Yes, knitting still. And try to get all of the items knitted. I have a lot of them done, but there are still so many more to knit. So I think I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And we are looking at doing the romance aspirations next. However, I did have one person submit a gallery sim. So we do have a soulmate thanks to Plumbite. And I think we might meet them sometime today. Boss's birthday. Carla wants to get her boss a birthday present, but can't leave work to buy it. How should she go about it? Um, we'll order it online or make a present. Uh, we can make one. We're pretty talented. And that was a performance game of medium. Yeah, Carla is a savant at crafting meaningful gifts from a combination of paper clips, rubber bands, and copier paper. Her boss is really impressed with her skill and ingenuity. Okay. So now we are promoted to the Hall of Fame, and that is level 10 of the professional athlete career. So we can mark off the athlete career for the goals of the Super Sim. Okay, actually you need a fine arts degree to do the freelance crafter career. So we will be doing the diver career. I'm trying to avoid doing the full-time careers that require a degree until all of the degrees are done, or at least until I have that specific degree done. Unfortunately, we're also working on the fabrication aspiration part way. So maybe we'll put off the fabrication aspiration until we get to the freelance crafter job. And then we also have the fine art degree. So right now we'll do diver because that's perfect since it runs from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. And that's outside of our school hours. So we won't have to use vacation days for this one. And we're a diver level three right off the bat which is top of the career. So <laughs> I forget, did we do this one or not? I think I was working on the conservationist career and I bought all of the diving gear, but I wasn't actually in the diving career. So I think what we'll do for this is we'll get one promotion or max out the performance bar and go to work once and then call this one done too. Oh, Carla caught on fire from feeding the insects. I guess it's because they're bombardier beetles, but she's also a naturalist, so she's fire immune. And we're just collecting the nuggets and the bombardier beetles in order to get to the next step of the master maker aspiration. Now we need to make 20 candles and complete five gigs as a freelance crafter. Yeah, we need to wait on that one. So I'm going to say that we're stuck on this one for a while. Caitlin, you have two kids already and you adopted another baby. This woman is so interested in having kids. I don't know why. No, we're not going to go over right now. Okay, yes, she did get a promotion and a raise. Well, it's not really a promotion. It's just one of those, uh, if you have get to work, you get plus ones, which is like a bonus and a raise, even though she didn't get promoted. So she's at the top of her career again. It's supposed to reset that performance bar, but we're just going to get the plus ones on the careers that start us at top level because I think that's kind of cheating just to join the career and immediately switch to another one. Okay, I think we have the two degrees needed to complete the marine biologist and the environmental manager careers, which are both the conservationist career. 
So let's try to do that one. We'll do environmental manager first. And for that one, we need to take photos. Well, the photo taking task was kind of boring and that's done. So we'll just knock on this random door and oh, meet bullets. our soulmate. What do you mean it looks like nobody's home? Where did he go? Well, apparently he's hanging around my house somewhere. And of course, now that I'm here, I do not see him anywhere. So let's just take care of the chickens. All right, let's try this again. He went back home as soon as I went to my house. I dropped him off in the starter home in Delso Valley. It's not the greatest house, but hey, it's something. So this is Hayden West. We can do a besties friendly introduction. We don't have the romantic one for some reason. Okay, but we can flirt. Okay, so I was just making sure that I could flirt with him and it would work. So he is attracted to women. So thank you for setting that correctly. And... I'm not sure why I wasn't able to use a romantic introduction on him, but sometimes the game doesn't let you do that. And apparently he likes playing the violin, and he's pretty good at it. Hmm. Okay. We already have a romantic partner? Who is our romantic partner? Okay, we do not currently have a romantic partner. I think it's maybe counting Agnes because we were girlfriends at one time, but we asked her to just be friends and we're just good friends now. So I'm not sure why it's saying that we already have a romantic partner when we do not. But we have been on one date. Maybe we already swapped to this aspiration during some other time in the series. I forgot. So maybe we should go on a date now. Hopefully the love struck dates actually count towards this aspiration. I'm not sure if they do or not. Okay, we will try the restaurant thing, but I'm not sure how this will work. Let's get this table over here. Oh no, someone else claimed the two-seater. Come on. Well, maybe we'll sit somewhere else. You had best not sit diagonal from each other. The only acceptable solution to this is to sit across or to sit beside. Well, there's two acceptable solutions. One unacceptable solution. Okay, they both sat down and immediately got up for some reason. All right, well, let's sit together. Why is he not in my group, though? That's a problem. No! I said that was unacceptable. Okay, that's better. Oh no, we are in a group. Why is the group thing hidden? I cannot see the group thing. Oh, and there's paparazzi here. Great. Well, we're going to order the t for the table. We'll get some coffee just in case he's tired. <laughs> and maybe we'll get some pizza. This is an okay first date. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Our strong friendship got me thinking about how we should live together. Aren't we skipping a few steps here? Um, I'm going to have to say yes, because unfortunately, if I say no, it's going to tank our relationship and give us a bad sentiment. So sure, we can skip straight to that step. Well, that was quick. We didn't even have a chance to have a first kiss and I was trying to get there. And we're going to go through the wall and go around to the other side. I guess he's looking for a little bit of privacy. Um, yeah, but he got the paparazzi and no kiss. Okay, go back over there. I guess it's because her... Okay, her food is out, but his food is not. Okay, can we get the paparazzi to just leave? This date is going so slow. There we go. Oh, she's getting so upset. Okay, we better ask him to be our boyfriend because she's getting upset because they're not in a committed relationship. 
And the reason for that is because of her stupid quirks. So we might have to get rid of those quirks or we might have to just make him our boyfriend. Okay, let's go eat something and drink something. Although I'm sorry, Hayden, that you did not get anything to eat or drink. And <laughs> she's just getting so mad. Oh, that is so sad. He went to a restaurant and he had to make his own microwave pastry in the microwave because they did not bring out his food. I like how you learn Matilda's romantic boundaries just because she's in the room when you're hugging and kissing. So basically, if you do any romantic interaction in front of a member of the opposite sex, they will essentially tell you, hey, I'm jealous of that. And you have no relationship with them. Basically, Hayden has no relationship with Matilda, doesn't even know Matilda. So I don't know why it happens like that. And why is this guy in my conversation? I don't know why it's like that, but you are not supposed to be in my conversation. Okay, we got gold. We can leave and go home now. Okay, let me ask him to become best friends. I'm not sure what happens if you ask him to be your romantic partner first, but we're going to be best friends and then we need to become married to him. But first we'll just be romantic partners. Um, it looks like you can only be woohoo partners. Okay, okay. Can you not be both a best friend and a romantic partner at the same time? Because that is what this aspiration is asking you to do. That used to be possible. Um may not be possible anymore and might be a bug. All right, maybe our romance is just not high enough, but I kind of doubt it. It it seems to be pretty high. Okay, there it is. It's asked to be romantic partner again. Okay, so that was not there. I mean, it was there. Asked to be romantic partner was there first. And then I went to change relationship and asked to be best friends and or become best friends. And then this had disappeared. Okay, so I guess maybe my romance bar just wasn't quite high enough. All right, so now we can ask to be romantic partners. All right, now, oh, he's giving us a rose. How sweet. Okay, work in three hours. We need to take... Oh, no, no. Carla is feeling a romantic connection for Hayden and wants to suggest a date. I am Carla. Why is it saying that I want to suggest a date? Sims in your household shouldn't do this, uh, but they do. I think that's either a current bug or maybe this is just by design. I'm going to say not right now. You have to go to work soon. And actually, I also have class in five hours and class in eight hours. So I can't go to work and I need to boost my performance. So Hayden, sorry, but right now you need to go do something else. Maybe you can take care of the chickens because nobody else takes care of these chickens. Okay, they're fine. Well, you can just go to bed. Okay, and how is our public image? Oh, it's only awful. We need to get our image boosted. Oh no, Carla got the call. Why are things happening so quickly? Okay, so this is a money, money, give me now, which means you get a large amount of money if you get married. Under what conditions you get 2,500, I think, or 2,000, something like that right away. And no thanks. Well, Carla really doesn't need the money. So I don't really need her to get any money from this. But it's kind of funny that she got this immediately as I was about to create a date. So she's going to go on a date with Hayden because that's one of the things we need to do for the Paragon partner. And we're done for the day. So the plan was to have a date and propose anyway. 
Okay, and we got our final grades in the middle of our date. So yeah, now we need to sign up for next semester and probably go home and work on our homework. Okay, for some reason, my goals are not completing, even though I am doing the goals. My UI must be bugged. Okay, I'm completing goals, but I have no idea what they are. That's kind of annoying. Okay, let's try talking about marriage. Ah, okay, that was not very nice, Hayden. I thought you were supposed to be our soulmate. Okay, we're going to go ahead and propose anyway. Amidst the paparazzi. Yeah, that's not what I want. And somebody butting in. Okay, well, technically the date is over, so I can't be mad about that. Oh, and Hayden has to go to the bathroom and needs something to eat. Great. Okay, over by the broom closet, Carla's asking Hayden to marry her. And he says yes. We had a witness. He's a little bit curious. Okay, and they're going to be wholesome. Okay, sure, why not? Okay, so now we're engaged. We're going to go home and work on our homework. Okay, we need to consult on a global policy, I guess using the cell phone, and take photos of one of the islands. It says these policies will affect all... Oh, this affects all worlds? So I've never done these before. Controlling invasive fish. Invasive fish species can be sold for twice their value and will become harder to catch. Managing overfishing. Fishing is prohibited between 12 p.m. and 8 p.m. except during approved events. Coconut rebate. Households receive simoleons every day for coconut plants growing on their property. Supporting organic produce. All produce is now grown organically. This makes food more expensive to cook, but may leave Sims feeling energized after a meal. Water purifying solution. An air experimental water purifying solution will be mixed into tap water. Long-term effects are unknown. Oh, that sounds terrible. Littering fines. Eh, so what? Energy curfew. The power shuts off at 12 a.m. every night and comes back at 6 a.m. No, we are not going with that one. Green energy rebate policy effect. Bills are lower for all households, but there may be power outages at peak nighttime hours. No, we're not doing that one either. So the water purifying solution is just curious. I'm curious to see what happens. What does that do? I'm going to pick that one. And then take photos. Actually, before we do this, we should probably try to get our performance up. And for taking photos, all you have to do is actually open your camera. You don't have to actually snap any pictures. If you snap five pictures, you only get credit for one. And that's it. So we just have to wait until next time we go to work and hopefully we'll get promoted again. And that should be level 10 of the environmental manager career. Carla Jr. adopted a toddler. No, we're not going to go see the toddler. Fire. Oh, did you start? Oh, my bombardier beetles. Oh. I think it was because I didn't harvest them or something. I didn't know that they could actually catch on fire. Or did he try to harvest them? I don't know. Where are you going, Carla? Come back here. You still have another fire to put out. Well, there goes all of my insects. Not that I really needed them to be there anymore. Okay, Carla actually got level 10 environmental manager. So she is the chief sustainability officer. 
And that means we can switch over to the other career and not have to do these surveys or consults on the global policy. Okay, it looks like the other branch is not showing up when I just try to find a job. So I think I have to quit and then rejoin. Okay, and then the marine biologist shows up. It's kind of strange, though, that this one is not the same as all the other ones where I have an advanced degree. See, the mixologist has a little green icon next to it, and so does musician and investor. Uh, for some reason, this one doesn't, even though it's two different branches of the same career and I have a distinguished degree for both of them. I'm not sure why it doesn't. Okay, we're a marine biologist level eight. Oh, uh, this is the Survey Ocean Wildlife in Mwalpelum. I think I have to go there earlier in the day. I tried doing it last time at night and I couldn't do it. So, we have class in two hours. Maybe we can catch something. Okay, of course I'm not seeing anything here. Time to go back for class. Oh, wait. There it is. It's sparkling. Okay, I do see the sparkles. It's right next to the fish, so I almost missed it. But I think that is what I'm supposed to survey. It does have the survey option, but... Uh, maybe it's not because it's supposed to be survey wildlife and I'm not sure. Yeah, this is take sample from ocean. So that's definitely not it. Hopefully this is what I'm supposed to survey. No, I don't think that counted. Come on. I know the coral is supposed to sparkle like that in order to survey it, but it's not the coral. It was a school of fish and it didn't complete. So I think that might be bugged. Either that or, oh no. What is this? Jellyfish. But I can't click on them. I think maybe that's not what I'm supposed to survey. <laughs> It has to be coral, schools of fish, or sea turtles. Well, the sparkles are gone. I don't know if it will be anywhere else. It looks like I'm not going to be able to complete this again. Oh, the sparklies are back. I can't survey, though. So, doesn't matter. Okay, there's a dolphin popping up here. But... Oh, he disappeared. Great. That probably doesn't count anyway. Yeah, those are dolphins. There's a fish right there. And there's a school of fish over here. But of course, that's probably not going to count. It's just saying call over dolphin. Oh, now there we go. Survey ocean wildlife. Maybe that will count? I can do it on the buoy. Because there's a big thing of fish over here. So I'm hoping that that definitely counts. Carla, why aren't you transportalating at least to close to the ocean? She's not jogging. She's just walking her sweet ass time over there. Okay, at least she got the action off, I think, in time. Well, the school of fish disappeared. Hopefully, I still get credit for this. Okay, all Carla could see was that there's a lot of water. Maybe if she waits a bit and tries again, that did not count. Okay, she's not finding anything, which is unfortunate. There was something at the last one, but it took forever to survey and took forever to get there. Oh, right. I have the transportalate off. I don't know if you can transportalate from the water. Nope. It makes her swim. That's not fair. Okay. Swimming around and surveying proved very fruitful. Carla was able to record some important research data to study. Yeah, but that still doesn't check off my task. There's a turtle. There is a turtle right there. Okay. That counts. 
that has got to count. If that doesn't count, it is bugged. I just happened to see a turtle. There's a bunch of turtles over here, and they seem to appear around 5 a.m. or maybe a little bit later. It's currently 5.45. There's a bunch of them. Okay, finally, that counted. And only two hours before I'm supposed to start my shift. I'm level eight, so hopefully this bumps me to level nine. Okay, I have class in two hours. Okay, so I can work from home. All right, I have class in two hours and work in two hours. Oh, goody, I get to go back and survey ocean wildlife. I don't like that task. Maybe I should take a day off instead of actually doing those tasks. But at least she's level nine now. Okay, the school of fish is there. But I'm not sure if I'm surveying it because I have to click on the buoy. I can't click on the fish themselves, which probably means that this one is not a way to complete it. Hey, I'm working and it's stressful. You don't work. You don't have a job. But I just wanted to call and see if you're having a good day and to say I love you. Oh, thanks. Um, I would say I love you too. I'm bringing you food, but I'm kind of busy right now. Um, um, you're welcome, I guess, huh? Okay. I know I was supposed to tell him I'm bringing him food, but I need to finish this. Okay, I'm finishing the survey while the fish are still there. And I got some important data to study, but no completion. Okay, so I think what has to happen is I just have to wait for 5 a.m. to roll around and hope I see the sea turtles. Because none of these surveys actually... Oh, there's take sample from the ocean, take photo, and survey. But that's not what I want. I need the sparklies to be above the coral, and it's just not. I'm not sure what time that happens. I'd have to look it up. It does count for taking photos, and if you just click take photo five times in a row, that's a lot quicker. Okay, there's the turtles again. So the only thing that I have found that is close to being reliable is waiting on these turtles that show up around 5 a.m. ish, a little bit after 5 a.m. around this buoy. Okay, and that is complete. I'll be happy when this job is over. Oh, wow, it's a shark. I think you could also survey that one. Nope, never mind. Okay, I have invited <laughs> over back. some of my friends. <laughs> and wouldn't it be funny if we could get Agnes to marry us? Now, I know she's not going to like the wedding because Agnes does not like any sort of romance. It doesn't matter how appropriate it is. <laughs> she doesn't like it. I think Agnes should be the officiant. Because she's my best friend. No? Really? Agnes! Okay, we are a level 10 marine biologist. So we can quit that. Let's just keep bugging Agnes until she says yes. No? Really? Come on! Agnes! I know she's angry, but I can't get her to never not be angry. Okay, I made her happy. Will that work? Yes. If it doesn't work, I think she's just hard-coded to always say no to things like that. Because it probably... Oh, she said yes. She actually said yes. <laughs> she's going to be smacking me with her purse. I just think it's funny and chaotic. So I'm doing it. Okay, the only thing about Carla Eternal Jr. is she's an elder. I don't know how long she has left. And the thing is, I have such bad luck. 
with elders at weddings. I think the very first series that I did, my founder actually had Bella Goth as a best friend since childhood. And she was an elder when my founder finally got married. And she died at my wedding. (laughs) And that was just hilarious, but at the same time, very sad. So if you have someone who is not a spellcaster and you try to reset their age, you have to first give them a potion of questionable contents. And the reason why is because when you give them a potion, it bases it on their spellcaster level, not yours. And it will always fail. I always have them fail. So the only way to get around that is to give them this potion of questionable contents first, which guarantees that the next potion they drink will be a success. So first I copy paste it because I only have one. Okay, so first we'll give her the potion of questionable contents. She'll drink it and then we give her the potion that resets her age. That way we can be sure that she will not die at the wedding. And the other potion is called the potion of rejuvenation. Okay, drink it and she sparkles and she should be fine. Okay, let's ask her to maybe be the flower pal. And the reason why you don't have to worry about Agnes dying at the wedding is because she, even though she's an elder, she never dies. She basically is one of the immortal Sims. And so is Christopher. Maybe we'll have him be the ring bearer. And then we just need a Sim of honor. Well, I have Stephanie and Zala and Gabriel. I think maybe Gabriel, even though we're really not that good friends, uh, he was our friend from high school. Okay, now that everyone has agreed to play their part, I think we're going to try and get a bouquet and a cake and do this the My Wedding Stories way, because it's just going to be that much funnier. Okay, I assume this place sells flowers and maybe wedding cakes? Well, maybe not, but at least flowers. Oh yes, the colorful one. Is there more than one colorful one? No, just one. Ah, and this one has the wedding cake. Okay, we do have one day and 15 hours to eat the wedding cake. So I think Carla will just keep that in her inventory and we'll plan the wedding event. Okay, I'm not going to invite Caitlin because I don't want to make her jealous. Otherwise, I would invite her. I'm going to invite Trenton. I don't know if I can invite her mother because her mother is a ghost. We'll go ahead and invite Renee. No, mother cannot come. We're really good friends with some of these people and I have no idea why. I've tried not to make too many friends, but it's it's really difficult sometimes because Carla just talks to somebody and she immediately becomes their best friend. Except for these people. I'm not going to select a wedding cake because that sometimes doesn't work. We'll do a dress code of, it's only polished or boho. I don't really like that. Uh, for color, I just want to pick rainbow. So no, we're not going to pick a color. I'm just going to use her formal wear, which is a bunch of colorful flowers, which kind of suits her. And I kind of want to do the wedding venue in Tartosa, even though I haven't checked it out yet. That might be a mistake. Okay completely skipped the activities. So I'm glad I caught that. So we're gonna cut cake. We're going to exchange vows and have a spousal kiss. We'll do the first dance. And I don't like the walking down the aisle thing because I always get that wrong. <laughs> I think maybe we'll have toasts. Oh, we can do more. You can check all of these off. You can just say, we're going to do everything. Um, I think that's a little much. I think maybe we'll 
just take away the dances and this throwing rice and the tea and the speeches. We'll have a toast. And we're not blowing bubbles either. Okay. So I'm not walking down the aisle, technically. <laughs> I'm going to walk down the aisle, but I'm not going to select that as an activity. Okay, some people showed up wearing black. Don't wear black to a wedding unless it's specifically requested. All right. The two colors you should never wear to at least an American wedding are white and black unless you are the bridal party or it's requested, <laughs> especially white. Don't wear white. Okay, so we have an arch outside and an arch inside. And hopefully it looks like we have enough room for everybody. So maybe we'll do the one outside just because it's prettier. Okay, yeah, it says, please take your seats and you can tell which arch it is. Hopefully that works. We're going to go here and we're going to have Hayden go here. Okay, where are you guys going? Carla is stopping to talk to one of the guests. Maybe we'll send her down the aisle. Okay, and Agnes is actually at the front where she should be. So I sent her down the aisle and you, why are you over here? Go here. Okay, so the flower pal goes down the aisle and she scatters some flowers, that's cute. Okay, now we'll send the ring bearer down the aisle. And then for some reason, after she does that, she just walks off and does nothing. Okay, well, whatever. No, let's not talk. No talking. Where is the ring bearer? Oh, and he has little sniffies. Okay, and then we'll send Hayden down the aisle. No, 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 no. You are going to go here. And then we'll tell everyone to take their seats again. Oh, no. No. Come on. I didn't realize he was an elder. What did I tell you? Of all the nerve. <laughs> Don't die at a wedding. Okay. Um, <laughs> that is not funny. <laughs> I was just getting everyone over here to get their seats. And they're going to go over there and mourn Jaden. Uh do I have a death flower on me? I do have death flowers on me. Okay, well, I'm going to go over here. Everyone else go sit down. You're not excused. Or actually, I have the dauntless trait. And I'm just going to give him a death flower. I am not going to take the chance. Here, Grim. Yeah, she doesn't like Grim because... Okay, so she saved a sim from death. That is actually a milestone that I needed to get eventually, but it did not need to ruin my wedding. And here comes everybody. Yep, we are all coming to see. Oh, and it's raining. Oh, come on. Now there's a thunderstorm. All right, everybody go inside. I'm not going to get them to switch, am I? I am not going to get them to switch. Well, is it this miserable? Well, let's just go down the aisle. I mean, I think you're supposed to be resurrecting him. Did he just die again? He did. I mean, I understand he's an elder, and but he. I thought that he was supposed to not die unless I zoned. Oh, come on. All right. Well, I cannot help that. We are stuck in the rain. I still need to go to the Finchwick Fair. I am going to go down the aisle by myself. Where are you going? No, you are not going to go witness that death. Go down the aisle. You're going to get married and we are going to ignore that. Yes, I know. He's dead. 
I just saw him die. Don't tell me he's dead. All right. I was going to walk down with my uh, Sim of Honor, but forget that. I'm not even holding my bouquet because I forgot again. All right. Just exchange fouls with the efficient and kiss. It's such a wonderful day for a wedding. And Agnes. Agnes is hilarious. She's yawning because she doesn't like weddings. Uh-oh. Did your umbrella break? Oh, she's clapping. Maybe she is happy for me. There's your ring, Hayden. <laughs> and now she's bored. Oh, uh, okay. The only thing is, when we kiss, this is a legitimate form of public display of affection. Okay. Is Agnes going to crumple bottom me? Nope. Okay. She didn't really participate very much, though. Okay, next thing we're going to try is cutting the cake. Where's my cake? Okay, there's only gather for cake. Okay, here's cut cake. Okay, so it's not under ceremony activities. It's just cut cake with Hayden. Now, um, I can ask everybody to gather first, but no. No, we are not going to do that because what will happen is someone will come eat this cake. So we're just going to cut it. And if people don't come over here, I don't care. Because watch, as soon as I put it down, at least I am quick because I am a spellcaster. But Hayden had best get himself over here. Now let's put the umbrella away, please. And he's very tired too. Oh, when it glitched. Okay, so we're going to cut the cake with no one else around. Um, oops. Agnes was kind of um, <laughs> using the restroom there. One danger of having the walls down. Okay, so we cut the cake. And it is so glitchy. We don't have any food on the lot, though. So we can't really do a celebration feast. All right, so we're supposed to do toasts, a first dance. Let's do a toast. I'm going to give a toast. Oh, we got the feast just from eating the cake. Well, good, because I did not want to do that. If I give a toast, since everyone's already in this room, it should be fine. You got to take what you can get. I mean, my wedding stories is sometimes glitchy, most of the time glitchy. But hey, I can sometimes make it work. All right, then first dance. We can do our... Oh, it stopped raining. Oh, look who's out here having a little bit of a romance thing. All right, can we have first dance with Hayden? I'm not going to tell people to gather because that doesn't work. Okay, he's dancing. And now he likes dancing. Aw, how sweet. That's actually a pretty nice first dance. And everyone's just in that room over there, so it's not like they're too far away from the activity. Okay, we might have enough time to go to the Finchwick Fair. Okay, this dance is actually lasting a long time. It's not glitching out like I expected it to. Okay, how long is this going to go on? We've been dancing for like an hour and a half or two hours now. <laughs> it's Okay, finally it's over. All right, wedding is done. All right, now we quickly need a chicken. We'll collect the eggs and take one of the chickens. Maybe Eggward. I think the one that has the most likelihood of getting first place is the evil chicken, but I don't have a rooster evil chicken right now because the roosters are the ones that get first place. Oh, I didn't hold my bouquet. I always forget that. It's okay, Carla. You're still pretty. Okay, if I can hurry up and submit an entry for each one of these. Oh, by the way, I did get my llama back. 
but it was in my personal inventory instead of my household inventory. And I could not put the llama back into the shed. So let's hope that doesn't happen again. Should be okay with chickens though. Okay, I did the golden rooster and he's very happy. So that should be pretty good. And then the obsidian egg, which is excellent. Okay, now we need to earn silver on two dates with our spouse. So maybe we could just have a date here at the bar? No. No. Why are you wearing that? Uh, this is an outfit I created as a joke when I was in the fashion designer career. And Sims in my household should not be showing up in it. I understand that townies show up in it, but why do Sims in my household show up in it? I'm not even in that career anymore. That's better. Um, you're a little tired. So maybe I should give you a potion for that. I'll just give him the Celebu Serum. Because if I give him a potion of plentiful needs, uh, I'll have to give him a potion of questionable contents first. Because otherwise it may not work. Okay, let's ask you out on a date. Maybe we'll just do a regular date. Just because I don't think those are as complicated. And we'll just stay here. Jokesters. Hmm. I don't know if I really want them to be jokesters. Well, I'm just going to say yes. Just for a little bit of chaos. And that's gold. Okay, and we'll just have one more date. Speed dating. Okay, so which place did we get? Oh, we did get two, I think. No, we didn't. Okay, so chicken won first place. I don't think we got anything for the egg competition. Doesn't look like it. So sometimes you can get two and sometimes you just get one. But that's two gold dates. And so now we just need to perform 50 romantic gestures with spouse as soulmates and earned gold on three dates. That's just going to be lovely. Anyway, this is Charity. Thanks for watching.